Dolomai, Madai, Ira, Ira itu. Hola. Así como eres Jairo, buenos días, buenas noches, buenas tardes. Chicos, chicas, chiques. <ríe> Anda, buenos días, buenas tardes, buenas noches. Para quien sea y ahora que me estén oyendo. Para quien sea que le corresponda y, se, y después dice, chicas, chicos, chiques. Te hicieron una conferencia del, del feedback, Luis. Guys, welcome. Thank you for being on time. I'm sorry for the delay, by the way. 
so we're going to start at 8 o'clock, so we just need to wait for the others to come. Yo, Lorena. Eh, no, solo le estoy diciendo a, a Luis Lemus que, bárbaro, él logró más de mil puntos. Yo no, yo me quedé en 900 y la Juana. What are you talking about? About what? The homework. Ah, the homework. Okay. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, guys, we have to start. Oops, my camera is here. So thank you very much for being on time. So tell me, how was your weekend, guys? Sure, right? How was your weekend? Guys, hello? Luis. Hello. I'm here. How was your weekend? Very tired. It was very tiring, right? Yeah. What about you, Luis Fajardo? Give me, give me a moment, please. Sure, Teacher. Lorena. How was your weekend, Lorena? Es muy importante, Fajardo, de lo que estás haciendo ahorita. <laughs> Lorena. Uh, now, in my case, uh, the weekend, uh, sería every weekend, o sea, todos los fines de semana. Yes, every weekend. Every weekends are uh, very, <laughs> very tired, o sea, cansados. Tiring, tiring. Very tiring. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, sometimes our visit to my grandfather or I am the, I am live in a animal shelter. Mm -hmm. um, the awakening, o sea, amanecer. Yes, yes. Awakening with the family is very, very complicated. It's very complicated. Tired. Yeah. Okay. Mucho más cansado despertarme con gente que despertarme solo. Yeah, actually, yeah, you're right. And thank you, appreciate it. Thank you for sharing that. Guys, excellent. I like when you talk. Fajardo, yes? Yes, uh, my weekend is uh, very relaxed. <laughs> Relaxing. Relaxing, tardó yes. para buscarlo en Google. Yeah. No, me voy, que estaba terminando de comerme un pan blanco. <laughs> okay, <laughs> enjoy it. Thanks. And, okay. um, uh, 
only this. Only that. Only that. Very good. Thank you. Appreciate it. Welcome, Madai Iraeta. Welcome to our class. Madai? Yeah. Okay, welcome. Let's see. Who else is here? Welcome, Hector. Welcome, Sara Ventura de Leon. Let's see, Hector, how was your weekend? Um, I'm very busy. Busy. Busy, yes. Uh, uh, Do you work? It's, yes, in, in my freelance project uh, of photography. Uh huh. And uh, I am, uh, I. Uh, edit, uh, editing video uh -huh. uh, of the of como diría propuesta de matrimonio ah a uh, marriage proposal a uh, marriage proposal ahorcarse uno solo <laughs> <laughs> ah pues <laughs> actually <laughs> that and, and, and... yo apoyo eso <laughs> <laughs> come on guys and homeworks uh, the of JavaScript. Oh, really? Yeah. Entonces, con esas uh -huh. dos cosas he pasado bastante ocupado editando esos videos y yes. <laughs> okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Let's see who who else. Sara, Sara I, Ventura. How was your weekend? It was amazing. It was amazing. Why? Yes. You want to share? Because I went out with my family. Awesome. Wow, that's great. <laughs> Guys, I envy you. You have time. I don't have time to go out. Let's see, De Leon. <laughs> Thank you, Sarai. Hi, teacher. How was your weekend? Do you do something interesting? Uh, working, teacher. Do you, do you work? The two days. The two days. Yeah, I work. Oh, my God. Sorry. Let's see, Carla Guerra, how was your weekend? It was nice. It was nice. Do you work? Yes. No. Do you go out? Uh, yeah, yesterday. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, guys, so thank you very much for sharing your weekend. Hector, your microphone, thank you. So <laughs> no worries. So guys, welcome to your class number five. So we are going to start this class with a Padlet activity. So I'm going to share this link with you and you are going to give me information about these four people, okay? So we're going to describe them. So you are going to tell me what you see in the picture, okay? And don't forget to write your names in the comments, okay? So for example, I see Johnny Depp, for example, Deep, I mean, then I don't remember his name, then Queen Elizabeth and Lana Del Rey. So I'm going to describe them, okay? So for example, ah, she has long hair. She is very old. Well, actually, she is not with us anymore, so maybe we can say she was very old. Ah, he has blonde hair. What about, him? ah, he wears glasses. Okay, so we're going to give information. And don't forget to write your names, please. I'm going to share this with you. Only one sentence, teacher. No. Oh, no. Describe. Um, Go ahead. Uh, more, uh, como se dice este, varias cosas o solo una en específico. Yeah, actually, we are going to add as much information as we can. So, um, it'll okay. be okay if you write three sentences for each picture. Okay, so for example, three here, three here, three here, and three here. But don't forget to write your names, please. Okay, I just sent you the the, the link over the chat so you can access it. If you have any questions, just let me know.
I will uh, give teacher, you. Yes, tell me. Teacher, I had a question. Yes, tell me. Uh, in the exercise of the description, uh, bueno, in Spanish. <laughs> so, uh -huh. uh, tengo que poner si dónde nació él y cosas así. No. As you es wish. No me las puedo todas. <laughs> no worries. What you can remember. Okay, what, you, example, what you remember. Ah, y, y and the question, what is she, the, the, the last girl? This one. The last woman? Yeah, yeah. ¿quién es? Lana del Rey, she's a singer. <laughs> ¿Quién? Lana del Rey. Lana del Rey. Yes. She's a, she, Sorry. She's a singer, you don't know her? <laughs> ¿Y, y, ¿Y él? This one. El rubio. And, and, this what is an actor. What is his name, please? Uh, actually, I don't remember. Sorry. I like it of the Korean actors, yeah. the Chinese <laughs> actors. I don't, uh, I don't know this actor. I'm sorry. I didn't know that. Quiero ver, me gustan del otro lado del mundo. No sé quién es él. No los conozco. So actually, actually... He, he, he has acted in a very famous TV show right now that is called, uh, what is the name? Pero solo de escribir el físico sin decir el nombre, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. Thanks. You're Thanks. welcome. Thank you very much. Guys, have you, have you watched this TV show? It is on Netflix. It is, I guess, number one right now. It is uh, Jeffrey Dahmer, something like that. So I really recommend you that show. It's like very weird, but I like it. <laughs> Guys, don't forget to write your names, please. Ah, I see Luis Fajardo, excellent. Luis Lemos, very good. It's very good, guys. What about the rest? I do see here Luis Fajardo, excellent. I also see the Leon, Luis Lemos, very good. <laughs> yeah, actually, that, that that's another description. Like, she's dead, very good. He has a curly hair, mm, okay. She's wearing a green dress, very good. She's singer. She's a uh, beautiful. Okay. So after this activity, I'm gonna give you some feedback. Yeah, Carla, what you can do is like disconnect and try to, to reconnect. Like you can rejoin the meeting if you don't listen to anything what I'm saying. De Leon, De Leon, he is wearing a suit. Very good. Lorena, your comments. I don't see your yes, comments. Sure. Uh, I... Me falta, si apenas voy terminando el de Johnny Depp. Ah, okay. Sorry. Andrea, what about you, Andrea? I don't see Hector, I don't see Madai, I don't see Sarai, I don't see Andrea, I don't see Hector. El de Johnny Deep ya lo hice, solo voy, bueno, con los demás. Okay. Let's see. 
he wears glasses. He is wearing a suit. Johnny Depp is a very handsome. He is 59 years old. He has brown hair, wears glasses. She's wearing a white dress and a nice necklace. She has a yellow dress and a yellow hat too. She looks very happy. She's smiling. I actually don't know. Maybe he logged in. Maybe he created an account. He is a very white person. Yes, he is. He has a very fine suit and he looks very happy. Very good. Michelle. Yes, tell me. How, how do you say piel blanca? White skin. White, white skin, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, guys, you only have two minutes to complete this activity. I don't see Andrea here. I don't see Sarai. I don't see Madai. I don't see Carla. The boy has blonde curly hair, white skin, and is tall. Very good. I actually. Ah, okay. El mío en el de Johnny Depp es el que dice la edad. Ah, okay. Y el último también es el mío. Sorry. No worries. Okay. Guys, come on. Don't forget your names. It's more easy logging login in the page. It's more easy or is easier? Easier. Ah, easier. It's more easier. I no, no more easier, just easier. It is easier. Es que es más mejor. Uh -huh. es mejor. It's like you es were más saying, más mejor. mejor. No. <laughs> Okay, let's see. We have the Leon. He wears glasses. He is wearing a suit. He is handsome. He has brown and wavy hair. He's divorced. Yeah, actually, he got divorced. He has a curly hair. He's white. Hmm, interesting. He's handsome and very smiling and he has wavy hair. He is a very white person. He has a very fine suit and he looks very happy. Okay, so we have the boy has blonde curly hair, white skin and is tall. Yes. <laughs> He's dead, she's dead. Yeah, actually she's dead. She passed away last month. She was the queen of the Europe? Really? Queen Elizabeth II was queen of Europe. Are you sure? She have? She have not nose, okay? She is medium height. Very good. Not height, I mean, she's medium height. She only lives in our hearts, yeah. She has a nice dress and her name is Queen Elizabeth II. She is a singer. Guys, don't forget that whenever we are talking about professions, we need to add the article a. Uh. He is a teacher. She is a coach, waitress. Coach. Yes. Eh, disculpe, solamente voy a contestar una llamada por si me pregunta algo. Ya le retomo. Oh, okay, go ahead. Yes, yes. No worries, Carla, I understand. No worries, go ahead. She's wearing a white dress and nine necklace. She is wearing a necklace, very good. She has a very good, okay. This one, let's see. 
She has a very good songs. Guys, remember, whenever we are talking about little things, for example, songs, cars, houses, uh, desks, pictures. So, because those are Pluto, we are not going to use the article uh. So, in this case, we say she has very good songs. So, we don't add uh. She has a beautiful voice, very good. And she only lives in our hearts, too. Hector, <laughs> she's not there yet. She's a woman, very good. She has red and long hair. Very good. She has blue eyes. Let's see this one. Lorena. She says, she is an, she is an old woman. She has white skin. She has white and curly hair. White and curly hair, very good. And she loves animals. She loves animals in general. Because we're talking about something general, we say animals. We don't use the animals. Let's see what else. Ya viene. She has, okay, she has blue eyes. Her hair is white and she had full four children. Very good. Very good, guys. So what I can see here is that we need to reinforce something, especially when to use articles and, sorry, sorry. I'm um, especially when to use articles, when not to use articles, and we need to reinforce some verbs as well, especially third person. So let's continue with today's topic. So today we're going to be continuing with this topic, which is about describing someone, okay? But today we're going to have like more information about something. So it, and actually, I don't want to say only someone like a person, but also we can also describe activities. We can also describe days. We can describe animals, many things. So the first question that I asked you was, hey guys, how was your weekend? And some of you told me, ah, it was tired. It was tired. But tired is used for people. Okay, for example, I feel tired. Okay, because I have been working a lot. So I feel tired. But what happens if I want to describe something. I don't want to describe myself. I want to describe something else. In this case, I want to describe the day. Ah, uh, teacher, um, my Sunday was, because we're talking about in past, my Sunday was tiring. So we are using ing because I'm describing, okay? So, but let's continue. Uh, you listen, yeah. But, Actually, how do we ask about someone's physical appearance or look? For example, we have the question, and this is the structure. Help me, please, Sara Ventura. W H word mm -hmm. plus does do plus mm -hmm. subject plus verb plus complement plus. Mark, question? <laughs> question mark. Question mark. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Thank you. So we have the first question. Help me with this one, please, Hector. What does she look like? Okay. So I have my WH word here. What? Ah, what? because I'm talking about third person singular. I have does. Okay. She. What? Does she verb look like compliment and my question mark? So in this case, this question is very interesting. Why, teacher? Because even though we are using does, because we're not using verb to be, in the answer, we can change it. We can use the verb to be. Even though I'm not using verb to be in the question, I can use verb to be in the answer. Okay. So, for example, hey, what does she look like? 
Ah, uh, she is very slim, for example. She's slim. Okay, I'm using her to be because I'm describing something, even though I'm not pay attention, even though I'm not using the verb to be in the question, I can still use it in the answer. So this pretty much is going to be one of those weird exceptions where we can change the structure of the answer. So let me help reading this one. I mean, help me with this one, Carla Hernandez. She is very tall. Very good. She's very tall. Let's see another one, Lemus. She's got light brown, light brown skin. Very good. So pay attention to this structure because it's very common in English. Okay, so this is actually as if we were saying she has light brown skin. She has, okay? But just in case you listen to this structure, ah, she's got light brown skin, okay? So both options are valid. She has light brown skin. She's got light brown skin, so that's that's fine. Number three, let's see. Uh, Madai, the third one, please. She is curly haired. Very good. So we have, she is curly haired. Okay, she's curly haired, teacher. Okay. Let's see, Fajardo. She is very young. Very good. She's very young. And the last one, De Leon. She's slim. She's slim. Very good. So in here, the only verb that we are changing is this one, got. Because in these others, we are using the verb to be. And because we're using she, we are going to use is all the time. Okay? We are not going to say, ah, she are. Never. Any questions so far about this? Do you have any questions about this? No? Okay, let's continue. Uh, repeat, please, teacher. Um, yeah, Fajardo, what do you want me to repeat? When I was explaining lo del, lo del does, lo del, lo del does she look like a uh, moment that was in the oration of she has and she is. Does do. Uh, this one or this one? Es que había dicho algo al, al, al inicio cuando lo que, él no lo que él no entendió fue por qué en este se, se coloca el does antes del do. Ah, okay. No yes. el, el, el to be. Okay, very good question. Yes, actually, this is going to be one of those strange or weird exceptions where we don't follow the structure, okay? Because we're talking about someone's physical appearance. So, for example, hey, how does your mom look like, for example? So, I'm going to describe my mom. And in this case, because I'm going to describe my mom, I'm going to change the verbs, okay? So, teacher, what's the verb that we use to describe someone? Ah, the verb to be. Okay, so that is mainly, okay, the verb to be is for describing someone most of the times. Okay, ah, she's smart, she's tall, she's beautiful, she is an excellent mom. Okay, so in that case, pretty much we use the verb to be for describing someone. Not all the time, not all the time. But for this topic, we are going to use the verb to be the must, okay? Even though in the question, we are not, oops, even though in the question, we are not using the verb to be, in this case, we can use it, okay? Because we're talking about description. So let's continue. We have other WH questions. For example, we have this. Um, Lorena, the structure. Okay, uh, W word plus to be bear plus subject plus mash question mark. Uh, read this one once again, please. W word. W word or W H word? 
Mm. W se, H. H. Se pronuncia the H? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry. No worries. Um, w H. I don't. No lo sabía. Ah, no worries. I, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. But is the same of the. the ay, ¿Cómo se llama? Es siempre la de la W. Who, with, what? Yes, yes. So those are called uh -huh. WH words or WH questions. Ajá, es que. ¿Cómo se dice toda mi vida? Solo les he dicho the WH question. Ah, my entire so, life. I, I have oh, said. Okay, no worries. Oh, yeah, so, so this is W word. WH yeah, word. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. So, Lorena, um, if you want to say WH questions, that is fine. If you want to say WH word, that is fine. I don't mind. But thank you. So, yes, as Lorena was saying, we have WH word plus to be verb. In this case, we are going to use the verb to be subject and the question mark. Okay. Teacher, but I don't see compliment here because the complement is going to be the answer. So for example, I have how old. Hey, how old are you? How old is your, if you, is your mother? How old is your father? How old is your brother, for example? Okay, so this, ah, uh, my brother is 17 years old. So the number 17 years old is going to be the answer, okay? Or the complement. So that's the reason we are not gonna add it here because that's the piece of information that is missing. But let's see, um, what if I ask you this, um, Hector, Hector, how old are you? I am 25 years old. I am 25 years old. But what happens if I ask you this one? Let's see, Luis Fajardo. What happens if someone asks me, hey teacher, how old are you? Um, I have 27 years old. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Repeat. Repeat. Sí. Okay. So what happens uh -huh. if someone asks me, hey teacher, how old are you? And my answer is, I have 27 years old. Is that okay? No, you have to say I am 27 years old. But I, uh huh. What do you say? You have to say I am 20 years old. Very good. So in this case, I have to say, I am 27 years old. So in this case, we cannot change the verb. In the previous question, we, we can change the verb, but in this one, never, okay? Why teacher? Because that is Spanish. It sounds like a bad translation from Spanish into English, okay? In Spanish, we do say, I have. But in English, we never say I have, we say I am, okay? Let's see, mm, it says, repeat please, I don't understand. Yes, so um, in this case, whenever we are talking about our age, okay, our age, I am 27, we will never, never ever say I have 27 years old never okay so remember whenever we are talking or asking about someone's age or about our age so we will use the verb to be all the time if you are taking notes i recommend you write this down the structure okay how old are you how old is she how old is he and so on now let's see what about this one? Hey, teacher, how tall are you? Wait, you're welcome. So in this case, hey, teacher, how tall are you? What is that? Ah, so that person is asking me about my height. So, you know, I am very tall. 
I am 1.73 centimeters. Actually, in English, we don't use this one because we always use this one in Spanish. So, for example, we can say, ah, you know, I am five feet, for example. Okay. But because we don't use that, we are not familiar with that information. We're going to say like this. And as you can see, I'm using the verb to be. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm talking about my height. Okay. I am very tall because I am 1.73. Now, what about this one? How long is your hair? How long is hair, hair? How long is your brother's hair? You know, my hair is short. My brother's hair is shoulder length, like in here. My sister hair is very long. So remember, whenever we are asking these questions, how old, how tall, how long, we are going to use the verb to be all the time. Do you have any questions? Yes, yeah, teacher. Yes, tell me. One, the second one, how tall? Yeah, Not like. Uh -huh. the, how tall se traduce como, como se ha dicho, no como, se, como dijiste. No sería how t a t a l l. You're so you're totally right. Thank you. Appreciate it. You are totally right. Thank you. I'm so sorry. It's like this. I'm sorry. You're right. Like this. Very good observation. Very good observation. Yes. So we have this one. How tall are you okay ah so we can say i am because i'm using the verb to be here so i have to use verb to be i am 1.73 centimeters like this one oh ready any questions Guys, do you have any questions about this? Okay, so let's continue. Add puzzle. So right now we're going to watch a video and I need you to pay attention because there are many questions, okay? So let's see. Dad has brown eyes, moms are blue. He looks like me, she looks like you. Our family side by side. Guys, can you listen to the video? Can you listen to it? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay. yes. 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 Okay. Pay attention, please. Pay close attention. Do you have a dog? <coughs> no, I have a cat. Do you have quiet neighbors? <sighs> no, we have noisy neighbors. Okay, so we have the first question. It says, what type of neighbor do they have? Noisy neighbor or quiet neighbor? Noisy neighbor. Noisy. Noisy. Very good, so noisy. Very good, let's continue. Well, doctor, do I have a problem with my heart? Yes, you have a very unusual heartbeat. Oh my. Okay, so is the patient's heart normal? No, it is, no, it is unusual or yes it is. No, no, it is, it is unusual. unusual. Very good. Very good. Let's continue. Why? Do your parents have a new car? Uh, 
No. They have a very old car. Okay, is his parents' car old? Yes, it is. No, it is not. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Very good. Ah, very good. Does your son have a musical instrument? Yes, he has an electric guitar. He has great musical talent. Don't you think so? Oh, yes, he does. Definitely. Does your daughter have a car? No, she has a motorcycle. Does your apartment have cockroaches? No, it has mice. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna ask you this question. Does his apartment have, what is, what is she saying? I don't remember. Cockroach or ah mice. yeah you're right. So is it cockroaches or mice? Mice. Mice. What is a mice? What what's what is mice? I mean, what is mice? Raton. Raton. Ratones. Very good. Very good. So it is the plural for mouse. Okay, so we change it into mice. Many mice. No, it has mice. <gasps> My sister and I look very different. I have blue eyes. Okay, I really want you to pay attention to this specific part because it is quite interesting how they describe themselves. So they are using, for example, actually they are going to use many verbs. For example, I have, I am, and so on. And she has brown eyes. I have short hair and she has long hair. I'm tall and I'm short. As, As you can, can see, I don't, don't look like my sister. sister. We, we look very different. different. I have a house and she has an apartment. She has a cat and I have a dog. We, we both, both have musical, musical instruments. instruments. I have a piano and she has a guitar. She has a car and I have a bicycle. I have a black and white TV, and she has a color TV. She has a lot of friends, and I have just one or two. As, As you can, can see, we're, we're very different. different. But, but we're, we're sisters, sisters, and we're, we're friends. friends. Okay, so in this specific part, they are, they are using contraction because they are not saying, um, we are sisters, we are friends. No, they are using contractions. They're saying, ah, we're sisters, we're friends. And, and this part, I like it because they are changing the verb um, to have. For example, I have a house and she has an apartment. So let's listen this part one once two. again. As, As you, you can, can see, see, we both have musical, musical instruments. instruments. I have a piano and she has a guitar. She has a car and I have a bicycle. I have a black and white TV and she has a color TV. She has a lot of friends and I have just one or two. As, As you, you can, can see, see we're, we're very different. different. But we're sisters and we're friends. We're friends. Awesome. Any questions about this video? No questions? Okay, so let's continue. Oh, wait. Okay, so we have this. This is very interesting, guys. So we have the present participle adjectives. So this is what we were talking about like earlier about ing for describing something. Because if I say, I'm bored, it's because this class is boring, okay? So that is the feeling that the class is giving me, okay? So I'm bored. 
But what happens if I want to describe the class? The class is bored? No, the class is boring. What happens if when I talk to someone, that person is not very interesting? Ah, oh, that person doesn't have really good conversation topics. So that person is boring. So let's read this example. Help me, please. Let's see who's here. Melanie. Melanie? I'm here, Madai. Yes, can you help me read this part, please? This example. I don't like to talk to Martha. She's a boring person. Mmm, you're missing this part. Again, she is? She is a boring person. Excellent. I don't like to talk to Martha. She is a boring person. Okay? She's not interesting at all. So in here, we can see the picture. Oh, no, this person is boring. So I'm using ing. Let's continue. Um, who hasn't participated? Carla Hernandez. People always invite Lisa to party because she is an interesting person. Okay, so in here, we have the opposite. In this case, this person is uh, boring. Ah, but what about Lisa? Lisa is an interesting person. That is the reason people always invite her to parties. Okay, so I am describing her. So in red, we have ING. Lisa is interested. No, Lisa is interesting because I'm describing her personality. Continue. Lorena. Yes. Um, oh. Melody thinks that Sid, no, Melody thinks that Sid is a very annoying person. Very good. Melody thinks that Steve is a very annoying person. Like, for example, Ay, no, ya viene otra vez esa persona. Ay, ya viene otra vez Steve. So, what's the meaning of annoying in this case? Who knows? What's the meaning of annoying? Molesting. Very good. There you go. I'm using ing. So, for example, you know, guys, my English teacher is very annoying. Really? Melody. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because he gives us homework all the time. So he's very annoying. Ah, oh, so I'm describing my teacher, I-N-G. Let's continue. <laughs> okay, so we have other ways to describe someone. And pay attention to this because this is going to be in the exam. And actually, it's going to be homework. So let's suppose that I want to describe a person here. Let's suppose that I want to describe Robert. But teacher, who is Robert? I see two guys here. So who is Robert? So we're going to give information. We have this one. Let's see, Carla Guerra. Who is Robert? He's the one wearing a cap. Um, are you talking about this one? No. This no. one? Yes. yes. Very good. So I want you to pay attention to this information because actually this is describing, yes, Robert is the young man. Very good. But actually this is giving me more information. He is the one wearing a cap. So I only see one person wearing a cap here. So this is Robert wearing. So is this a verb? Yes, it is. But actually, this is giving me more information about the person. He is the one wearing a cap. He is the one wearing what? 
blue t-shirt. He is the one smiling. He is the one doing the peace sign. Okay? So I can use verbs to describe people as well. Okay? Let's continue. Um, Fardo, who is Kathy? She is the one with long hair. She is the one with long hair. Um, who? Are you talking about this one? Is this one? Is this Kathy? No. Is this Kathy? Yes. Very yes. good. So how do we know? How do we know this is Kathy? Oh, because with long hair. Very she's good. The one. Because she's the one with long hair. Very good. Excellent. So actually, this is the way that we describe and for us to recognize other people. Okay, so for example, ah, Kathy is the girl. Oh, but I see two girls here. Ah, Kathy is the one smiling. Ah, both of them are smiling. Ah, so in this case, I'm going to highlight something. Kathy is the one with long hair. Oh, this one. Yes, that one. Teacher, se puede agregar ahí de un solo, perdón, se mm -hmm. puede agregar ahí de un solo a decir de que, de que ella es la del pelo largo y también es la que está al lado derecho, que sería near, perdón. Ah, uh, es in near or no, que next? está al, ajá, uh -huh. eh, next to sería o near. No, actually, wait, sorry. In this case, we can say she is the one on the left or she is the one on the right, okay? Ah, teacher, she is the one on the left. Ah, so you're talking about this one. But what happens if I want to say, um, you know, Katie es la que está en medio. How would you say that? Katie es la que está en medio. Do you remember that preposition in medio? She is the between. Very good. She is the one in between. In between, okay. Very good. So in this case, we are using two prepositions, okay? It sounds weird. It sounds weird sometimes, but actually this is the way that we use it. You know, Katie is the one in the middle, okay? Or she's the one in between, okay? Pero lo otro que preguntaba es que se puede usar los dos. O sea, también decir de que está en, en, en medio, o en este caso a, a, a la izquierda o a la derecha, y también, decir, y también decir de que es la única con el pelo largo. Yes, actually, you can use as many, as many adjectives as you can, prepositions. If you want to describe and give more information, more details, that's totally fine. Okay. okay? okay. Yes, that's totally fine. Very good question. More questions? Another me, question? Yes, tell me. Uh, yeah, in this case, o sea, aquí dice que ella es la que tiene el pelo largo, ok, pero yo no sé si le, también la otra chica tiene el pelo largo, para mí ella es la que tiene el cabello suelto y la otra tiene, chica tiene el cabello amarrado. Ok. <laughs> That's a Desde observation. mi punto de vista, ¿verdad? Porque uh -huh. la otra muchacha lo tiene, o sea, se ha hecho el moño, se ha hecho la cola. Yo no sé si cuando se lo suelte incluso es más largo que el de Katie. Ah, así yeah, que, así okay. que yo lo describiría de manera distinta. How would you say it? How would you say it? Solo cosas mías. How would you um, say it? Katie is the one of the blue t-shirt. Okay, very good. Very good. Excellent. That's a very good observation, to be honest. So we can also say this. You know what? Um, Kathy is the one not wearing a ponytail or not having a ponytail, okay? So that's a very good observation. Thank you, Lorena. Sorry, que ponytail es cola de caballo. O... Yes. Mm -hmm. Es igual para, o sea, pero en los caballos no se dice ponytail, solo en el pelo de humanos. Um, actually, no, you can also say that. <laughs> it's so, the same. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to complete the last activity. So, give me one. Any questions, guys? Any questions before we move on? 
No questions? Okay. Page not found. Oh, really? Um, just give me one second, guys. Um, just give me one second. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Que es Carla Fazo not, 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 not taker. Hmm? What is what? <laughs> Hay un Carla Fatton no taker. Solo yo ah. lo miro, lo miran los demás. Yeah, actually, she's like supervising the class. Uh, give me one second, guys. So lo siento, sorry. él así es. No puede ser un niño normal. Lo siento. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Me recuerda a mi hijo. Sí pregunta todo y yo me canso de eso. Ya los entiendo. <laughs> no, I guess this is actually no working. It says page not found, but I don't know why it was working. So if this doesn't work, so I'm going to ask you some questions. So let's see. Y si, pasa el, y si pasa el enlace, tal vez alguien más lo puede compartir o alguien más si le, si le carga. Sure. Okay. Let me send it. Okay, let me know if you can open this, guys. Actually, I don't think so, to be honest. No, no se puede abrir. Page not found. No, teacher, the same. Okay, give me one second. Let me see my worksheets. Ah, I have it here. Mm, found it. So this is the one I was looking for. So let's see. Let me share. Guys, can you see my screen? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we have who is that describing people? Read the description and number the picture. Okay. So let me make this smaller. Okay. So let me read Carla Guerra. This one, number one. Okay. Yes, please. Michael is his fifties. He has got short, straight, black hair and black mustache. He is wearing blue jeans, a purple t-shirt and gray shoes. He looks upset. Uh huh. So, is this this one? This no. one? Yeah. No. This one. No. Uh, no, 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 Sorry. no, porque no, tiene, tiene, tiene un black mustache. Is it this one then? Yes. 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 No, estás loco. No estoy Yes. 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 No, 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 puede sí ser. Sí, no no. Okay, yes, but yes, actually, no. actually, this is not the only identifier, guys, because it says uh, he, looks, mm -hmm. he looks upset. He looks upset. Like, oh, he looks upset. A black mustache. A black mustache. Oh. Gray shoes. Gray shoes. Oh, so maybe this one. Now, number two, uh, Fajardo. Jason is a young boy. He is 12 years old. He has got short, curly red hair and small eyes. He is wearing blue shorts, a green t-shirt, 
and white trainer. Trainers. He is, trainers. He is holding a bat. So, mm. is it this one? This one or this one? This one? This one. Yes. Let's see. Very good. Holding a bat. Yo la leí, no sé cuál es. Ajá, holding a bat. Lemos. This one, please. He's red hair. Uh -huh, Harry red hair. He's in the 60s. He is slim. He has. No, pero no me lo mueva, pues. <laughs> me cuesta inglés y me lo está moviendo. Uh -huh. <laughs> Henry is in. He, Henry is in his 60s. He's slim. He has got sharp, straight gray hair. He's wearing purple trousers, a green t shirt, a brown jacket, and brown hat. He has got some darts in his hand. Which one? It's the first is, one. It, is it this one? The first brown, one? Brown jacket. Yes. Okay, yeah, brown jacket. This is the first. Gray yeah. hair. Six. Actually, it doesn't look brown. It doesn't look brown. And see, brown jacket and brown hat. Look okay, easy. guys. Purple, no sé, porque ahí no tiene el color purple. Trousers, like pants. These are trousers. Actually, I think this is British. <laughs> guys. This because... is purple. No es azul. Guys, you know. Camisa del otro señor. It's purple. It's purple, right? So, yeah, this one. Guys, um. Because of the time, we are going to stop here. So I am going to send you this through what, okay? So you're going to be able to complete it. So I need you to complete this, take a screenshot and send it over to me, okay? So I need to see a 10 out of 10, okay? So let's see, let me check, let me check the attendance. So today is this one. So. Pero va a mandar el link, DJ. Yes, yes. Uh, Pre-intermediate. Vega Gonzalez, Carlos Enrique. Not here. Luis Antonio. Eh, voy. Aquí estoy. Okay. Carla Lorena. Aquí. Alvin, no. De Leon. Here, teacher. Fajardo, yeah. Gita. Yeah. Not here. Yeah, Hector. Here. Alexis, Amilcar, not here. Sarai, okay. Ventura. Present. Carla Guadalupe. Present. Melanie Lisbeth. Melanie Lisbeth, not here. Andrea. Andrea Velázquez. Melanie Adriana. Yes. Carla Gabriela. Yeah. Okay. Who's oh, missing? Uh, Hilma, Saldiva. Hilma. Sí. Ah, but Hilma, you are in the other class. Wait, just give me one second. Uh, sorry, sorry. No worries, no worries. From nine okay. to 10, right? Yes, yes. Okay, I will wait. Okay, thank you. So guys, um, I'll see you tomorrow. So I will send you the link so you can complete it. And you have to send me your scores, a screenshot, okay? Do you have any questions before we go? Ahorita la mandar el, el link o hasta mañana, teacher. Um, actually, I'll do it um at right 10 p.m. Right no, actually, now. Actually, after this class. Ah, okay, after this class, yes. Any questions before we go? See you tomorrow. No? Okay, see you tomorrow, guys. Bye, take care. Bye. Bye-bye.